Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the SEMO Esports League of Legends GG Leagues week number four. Check that little, four. little boxer information. That's what I, that's what I was hey. told it's week hey, number if four. If I was knowing you're going for, I would have full sent it, man. Hey, that, hey, you know what? I wanted to. I wasn't confident on the week four. That's what Zach <laughs> told me. I wasn't super sure. But ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Happy to be back. We are a little later than normal. We hope you aren't too tired uh, <laughs> that uh, is who we uh, are playing uh, uh. tonight davenport university their their uh, team name is too tired ladies and gentlemen we have a ton of brand new high quality coming at you tonight we have a big stream announcement big single esports announcement coming in tonight as well as some new faces on stream to join us later today for the game we are looking to get into the spectate mode very very soon uh, the team is just now filling into the lobby, getting the spectators in place, all that good jazz. Um, so they are working their way up to the pot. Um, today we are joined by, of course, the lovely Corey Johnson, course, as always, course. as always. Um, as well as Richard Hartig and Reese Wiemeyer will be joining us for the analysis booth. This is a new feature, new tool, new broadcasting idea that we brought concept, to you guys. Man. Whole new concept. Whole Nobody's new concept. ever done this before, honestly, chat. Um, <laughs> We wanted to bring you guys some experts. We know Corey and I aren't the best. So we wanted to bring in some experts, run you guys through the draft, run you guys through the team breakdown, what you should be expecting in the game. Um, they'll give you big plays. They'll give you little plays, everything in between. Um, they're going to help us out through this stream tonight. So 
super glad you guys are all here welcome back i know we've had kind of a weird week um we had a ton of teams reschedule um just a lot of stuff that other teams had to work around and so it happens um, man students are busy exactly exactly students so we busy. don't we can't feel bad about that yeah. you know um they misspelled replacements i don't know where is we don't we didn't type that anywhere so i don't know i don't know what you're talking about no. um but so Rocket League, we miss Rocket League this week. Sad to see them. We will see them Monday at 7 p.m. Um, either that will be recorded or Valorant will move back 30 minutes and then we'll see both of them on that Monday night. So we're gonna have a super packed Monday night um, regardless. Overwatch will be featured on the GG League stream tomorrow. And so we're gonna host a watch party for that. Um, we're gonna go mob their chat like we did the first time um, with Valorant, had a super fun time. So you'll be expecting that. Um, and then next week we'll have some even special events coming in that not even Corey knows about yet. They're cooking up here in the brain. So special events next week. You guys will find out about that later in the stream, um, as well as a big announcement coming in after game number one. So make sure you stick around. Uh, we are just now waiting for these teams to go to the pick and bands. Let's see. What else are they? There is there's the spectate. spectate. So we get this pulled up for you guys. Um, so we are actually going to pass the torch off to Rich and Reese. They are going to take over the spectate and the pro draft. They're going to walk you guys through um, A, the oak.gg, and then they're also going to walk through uh, what we're going to be looking at team comp wise. So um, we're going to go ahead and get the um, oak.gg pulled up first on our screen. That way you guys can see it as well. And then let's see. One second. Let me pull this up for them, and then they'll be able to talk you guys through it. I got to get the same links that they've got clicked into. All right, I believe this is the correct one. Correct as we have it. Um, all right, all right. We are going to unmute, and we're going to pass the rock over to Richard and Reese. Whoops. We're going to go down and click on the camera. Bop. There you go. Hey, Bop. look at them. You can see them. Uh, there we go. There we go. What's going on, guys? Yeah, what's up? Okay, Reese. It's been a while since it's been a long time. I've been on stream too, and we're glad to be here with some analysis going into Simo's new roster that they have yeah, going yeah, yeah. on here for at least game one in this series against Davenport University. Currently, we're looking at Davenport University's laners and players. Um, a lot of them have played ranked in a little bit, but some of them have been doing a lot of ranked recently but others like as we see their their bot laner here a month ago and not looking but we're not really sure what route they're going to go towards because of this new roster that CMO's brought out today yeah so a lot of changes have been occurring uh there's some roster changes with CMO. they're trying some new things but as you also said davenport they uh they haven't been playing ranked a whole lot recently we don't know if they've been playing a whole lot of normals in the in the meantime we don't know if they've actually been keeping really up with don't. practice yeah. Uh, you can see here, uh, let, let's see, DU Acquiescence, actually, has been grinding ranked all day, but then DU Duck over here hasn't played in like a month. Yeah, Duck's so been a duck. So, we, we, <laughs> we really don't know what to expect coming in from them. Uh, lots of things have been changing. Uh, we do see a lot of Seraphine what? being spammed uh, in that uh, ADC role, so that's probably going to be one of the bans that we're looking for, especially on the side of Simo. Um, if, if we do get the first ban, they might end up banning it because we also have some players that enjoy playing them. Uh, but we don't, we don't really know about that. Uh, looking in the mid lane though, mid lane is probably going to be the priority. You know, they've been oh, spamming yeah. a couple champions over and over. Looks like a lot of echo. Looks like a lot of victor. Uh, what do you think about that? Oh, I'm, I'm really liking like just our matchups against that because Seth Knights plays a lot of AD matchups into this and it isn't a typical like control mage sort of style, right? So as playing against somebody that plays control mages, it could be it could be a difficult matchup for acquiescence, despite the fact that Oh hey, pick and bands already started. All right, let's go. Let's started. jump into it. <laughs> okay, they jumped. Yeah, we didn't get the R's or anything. Anyway, so currently for Davenport University, we have Sejuani, Skarner, Kaiza, all banned. And then on CM Esports side, we have Anivia, Victor, Seraphine. We're talking about the mid lanes. Two bands for mid lane, the Seraphine played bot lane. And we have first pick Hecarim by Danford University. What do we think about that? All right. Uh, Hecarim, obviously a going champ. Going to be super aggressive. Looking to get all kinds of ganks going in. Uh, Leona in counter to that, though. Lots of CC. Uh, very strong in lane, but also very strong later game with a team fight CC. She's got the lockdown. She's got the tank stats. Very good counter against the Hecarim. What do you think? I, I also think that Leona is a great pick in this. Hecarim can just go unstoppable, go in. But Leona could just 
yoink and go straight in. Um, and then Dr. Mundo, this is sort of a jungle special with Simo, the new roster. Caleb, who used to be in the top lane, moving over to jungle for this series. Uh, we'll see how he plays. But And Dr. Mundo for game one. A very, very much a comfort pick for him. Yeah, not only the comfort pick, but Dr. Mundo has one of the fastest clearing speeds in the jungle for this patch. So lots of people have been playing him. Very popular. Uh, it looks like the Morgana going in. This would be a good selection. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Especially for the Hecarim. If she puts the Black Shield on him, ooh. But actually, yeah, Rakan, yeah. swap to the Rakan. It was something that their sport was playing. So this Rakan, a good selection. A comfort, another comfort pick coming in for Danport. And that's Zyra Rakan. The Zyra Rakan combo. You get special perks for both planes, yep. Zaya and Rakan, and so they're going to utilize that to their fullest in the bot lane, going against Leona and the bot laner to pick. So yeah, in the bot lane, the Zaya Rakan duo, uh, Zaya's abilities actually buff Rakan and vice versa. So you pick them both, you play them together, and it's just kind of like it makes them both more powerful. Uh, they're not bad on their own, but when they're together, it's, it is it is very powerful. So we're going to have to see what Simo picks in response to that. And then I think this Tristana could go mid, but I'm pretty sure it's going bottom because Kenna really, really likes her Tristana. And this is th this is going to be a bot lane. So Tristana Leona against Zyra Khan in the bot lane thus far as we're entering phase two of bans so with Simo is fourth time in the first ban of the set. Who do you think they're going to ban? Uh, they got they got a mid lane still up in top lane, I think. Mid top. I, I think... Especially with the roster, roster shuffling that has happened, uh, new top lane are coming in, support transferring top lane, and Chandler at new new support, JV support coming in. Um, I think you ban mid lane and you leave it very safe for your top laner. Do you give Seth counter pick? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, any anytime Seth can get the counter pick and get on a champion that's very like heavy carry wise, it's gonna be good for not only him but the team. Uh, he can always pop off, but at the same time, uh, it's it's good just to have him get the counter pick just because of that early laning game that he likes to play. That's probably the roughest spot is early lane. Uh, so if you can get a counter pick, that way he can maintain safety in that early few minutes. It's going to be very good. Right, yeah. And with Cassidy ban for Davenport with one ban left, that's Cassiopeia. Another Seth-centered ban. And with mid laner still to pick, Seth's going to be limited in his picks. But he does have a little bit of a spicy pick in the mid lane. Not sure if he'll bring it out, and I'll mention it if he does pick it. But he's practicing a little bit, taking a little bit from Ryan Lectus on this mm -hmm. pick. But I'm not sure if he's going to pick it. I expect the top lane pick here for CMU Sports. Maybe Orn, which is really safe. Or you can go more aggressive. Or you can even flex this Mundo in the top lane. Now, no, there's there one is the orange yeah, pick. Uh, very safe pick. Zach does like to play it, uh, the top laner for Simo at the moment. Uh, it also gives late game scaling just in the form of those orn items. So it's kind of like a fallback, you know? Yeah. So the mid lane pool is very, very suppressed right now. So Boo Boo, this Boo Boo could go top lane, could go mid lane. Is It could go either way. I would expect more of a team fight. Uh, fighter like Nard going the top side, but this Lulu still a flex technically, but is likely going to the top. I side. think she's going top lane, especially against that Orin. You know, you get the poke damage in. You know, Orin wants to go in with a with his jungler there, and Lulu just uh you know polymorphs one of them. Uh, it's a very safe pick for the top lane. Very poke heavy. It might make the Orin feel bad. Yeah, but with this Lulu still flexing, they have ten seconds of pick, and it's going to Silas hovered. Silas selected for Davenport. And Silas is likely going mid lane. And now with Seth to counter pick, we'll see if he hovers, but I think he's going to hover, mm, right? Mm. It starts with a V and ends with an O. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So we'll, we'll see if he picks. With 10 seconds, around 10 seconds left, I'm expecting Viego to come out here. I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to get selected here, but no hover thus far. Well, it's going to be Yasuo. It's going to be what mm. he likes to go to in these situations not gonna be viego like i thought it would be but yasuo going into the silas we've seen this matchup last week it went okay for him but again scaling late that's what simo wants to do going into this game they just want to scale it get orn items get tristana up to three items and they actually have a lot of ad yeah they so do so mundo likely not gonna go tank must go AP, you're also not going to have two sources of damage. It's just going to yep. be one, and then Davenport and just run an armor. See, so normally Dr. Mundo goes, you know, tank, and he can just run at the enemy team, and he just doesn't die. He's pretty much invincible. Right, yeah. But with the Leona and the Orn, both on Simo, and not a lot of other AP options, you, like you said, it'll probably be an AP Mundo, just because three tanks on a team, along with no other source of AP damage, it usually doesn't work out for them. So look for AP items uh, on the Mundo. Uh, what do you think about Davenport's uh, uh, so, comp. 
Davenport, the Zyra Khan is always potent because they're always going to outrange this Leona Tristana lane, but they do not have lane pre they don't have lane pressure. Tristana, very good at pushing towers, very good at pushing those sort of things. So Tristana, Tristana and Leona will always have push in the lane, but Zyra Khan has a lane advantage. So it makes this a little bit of a situational sort of thing where if Tristana can get ahead. So as, as the Pixel Bands are going through, this is just a commonality. This is just the formality of lanes going where. We'll see if the Lulu doesn't go top lane. We'll see in the League Picks and Bands if that's the case. But a reminder of who is playing in what lane for Simo. Dionite, who used to be the Simo support, is now playing top lane. Miram, Caleb, who was playing top lane, is now playing jungle for Simo. And Knight, Seth, and Kenasaur, Kenna are still the same lanes, but Eclipsia, Chandler, being brought up from JV and getting put in the support role. You actually played with him on yep. that JV team. Yep. What's it like playing with him? What what kind of play style so does he have? It's Chandler fun. is really interesting simply because he doesn't have a ton of game experience. Uh, however, he does have a lot of game knowledge. So it's really fun to see sometimes, you know, he goes, I know this is like how this works, but I haven't really experienced it before. So he's kind of constantly learning, but it also brings like an aspect of fun into the game. It's like, hey, uh, can we do this? Can we not? I'm not really sure. Uh, he he's very he's very coachable though. So when an instance like that comes up, he'll ask the rest of his teammates, you know, can we do this? Should we do this? And like what whatever the team says, like he's always down for it. So even if he doesn't really believe in himself or if he doesn't really know what's gonna happen, he's always willing to try. And that's why that's it's really cool to see, especially in someone who's so new to the game. And uh, it's really been working for him, especially when he's with Kenasaur in the bot lane. Yeah, especially with Kenna, the highest ranked player overall out of all the players on Sima right now. Is she? I thought, I, thought, uh, I thought Caleb no. was. I'm not I sure. I thought Caleb like dropped like the like gold one. I thought he was still in Plat. I'm not sure. Yeah, Either I mean, way, in, they're, they're both really lane. high. That was in top lane anyway, so I don't think... I don't even know what role he plays jungle. I don't know what rank he plays because he usually plays top lane. Um, But in their current ranks... Kenosaur is still highest ranked for all of them because we haven't seen Caleb play jungle. So we'll see how this game goes after everyone's choosing their loadouts. We're going to have this sweet, sweet three minute spectator delay mm -hmm. where we can talk about whatever we want. Yeah, I, I really do want to talk about these comps when it, when it gets to that, right, uh, right. just because I think both of them are a little bit unique in their own way. So, okay. I any, mean, you, just, just go on. Just go on. Yeah, all right. Go, all right. Go we go won't for wait for it, the yeah. three minute delay you guys think is going to win each each lane um and then what what round or what timing of the fight and of the game do you think Simo's going to look to capitalize in so lane by lane and then do you think early game you're going to see Simo try and pop off or do you think late game mid game that kind of stuff um let all us right, know on right. that kind of okay. stuff yeah. yeah so start just top lane yeah right? so we'll start with top lane okay so lulu and orn lulu has the range matchup orn is a tank is melee lulu should have the push early but lulu is usually playing the support role so she isn't really meant to carry the lane as more as to engage or to enable zaya silas hecarim to go in yep. more than anything so th that's the thing is like orn like you said is the melee champion and like i said earlier if he wants to go in for a 1v1 or like a 2v1 against this lulu she can just polymorph him and he can't really do anything so Top lane, I think, goes in favor of Lulu early on, at least just because of the simple range advantage and because Orn cannot really do anything. However, if the if the Lulu does not execute like she should, then obviously can go back into Orn's hands just because of the pressure. Right, yeah. And like the level six power spike on Lulu, even though she's typically played as support, the growing earth, her being able to enable herself, she can actually solo kill Orn if Orn doesn't reach six because of that massive power spike. But again. She's used to support her team as opposed to actually like playing for a carry top lane. So after that point, she's probably going to build some sort of support items to go. Anyway, let's go up at jungle. Jungle. Hecarim, Mundo. So Mundo will have early clear speed, but depending on what side they start on, they could easily either meet paths or they could just trade jungle one from one. Yep, yep. Uh, so trading jungle is uh, always fine, you know. Uh, it also depends on the gank. I don't know how much this Hecarim is going to want to gank. Obviously, it's a Hecarim, so he's going to want to do something once he reaches six. But, and gank Silas. You know, yeah. And, like, Caleb, you know, Myram, uh, with the Dr. Mundo, 
He's a very aggressive player. He's going to be yeah, looking for games all player. the time. That could be, Every yeah. time he can, uh, he's going to be ganking. Feast or famine. Feast or famine. Anyway, so, so let's hit on this mid lane really fast. Silas Yasuo. Both melee champions, but Silas has massive means of engage. Yep, yep. And then post six, Yasuo can engage on him. I think that'll be more of a skill matchup than any other matchup Definitely, here. So once Silas and Yasuo both hit six, they both hit pretty big power spikes. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, bot lane with a minute left. Tristana, Leona, and Desire, Rakan. How do we feel about that? All right, so this is a very, you know, who's going to go in first? Rakan can obviously go in with, you know, with his W, knock everyone up. Leona can also do the same thing with her EQ. So I think whoever goes in first actually ends up losing. If Elena goes into the Rakan and the Zaya, Rakan knocks her up, and then Zaya can actually, you know, root her with her uh, E. Uh, obviously, other way around, uh, Rakan goes in, and Leona can just dive back onto the Zaya. Trisana can jump away if she needs to. So I think it's more of a game of patience. And with Chandler and Leona, uh, I think I think uh, as long as Kenna tells him not to be too aggressive, I think he can be more patient. All right. Okay. So with 15 seconds left, I have a question for you. Yep. Okay. What time does the game end? Who wins? Why? Uh, what time does the game end? Uh, around 32 minutes. Okay. Why? I think uh, Davenport University is going to get ahead early just because of the comp. But then Simo's going to start scaling. They're going to win a fight, and then they're just going to go in. They're just going to go in. They're just going to go in. They're just going to be like zoom and then yep. zoom and then win fight. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, sounds good. 32 sounds minutes. Good. 32 minutes. All right. 32 minutes. 32 minutes. I'll hold you to that. All right. Okay. So anyway, as we're getting into game. We're gonna hop on over to Core. Think you a big sissy. <laughs> Thirty seconds until minions spawn.
Test, test. Check, check. Oh, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen we, are we are back. back. Let's do it, baby. Hey, I know Holy you missed us. Holy moly. We are freaking five minutes into the game, freaking pooping Ooh. the bed. Let's go. All right, All chat. All right. Well, Let's get those predictions out there, guys. Yes, sir. First prediction. We already have one kill, so we will not be doing first blood. We'll be hopping over to Dragon. Dragon. First Dragon will be the first prediction. Zach's going to toss it up there for you. Nice echo on Raleigh. Pog champ. Uh, let me see what I can do to get that fixed for you guys. Raleigh fixed camera. What is wrong with my camera? You know? Um, uh, I think oh, I, you're out of frame now. I'm out of frame. You're, they moved my are, stinky you. little camera. Son of a gun. Bop. There we go. You're good. All right. I should be good there, guys. Um, but yeah, sorry about that. We basically, as soon as we kicked over to us and then the game loaded in, it just went. And then our all of our audio stuff froze. And we used a digital program. So we had to restart the digital program. And then... The digital program stopped working. We restarted it. It stopped working. And then I unplugged a bunch of stuff and plugged it back in, and now we're here. So that will be the second kill. We will see. Seth will take a th second kill. We will trade. Uh, we will go up two kills on that to uh, two tired Davenport University. We are down two kills. They will take two kills. We will grab one out of that fight. Um, not the end of the world. Um, six minutes in. Sorry about that, Chad. The no, it is not the new audio setup. I wish it oh, was. I'm, I'm muted. Oh. Oh, now you can that's talk. Nice. That's probably why. I unmuted that's probably why myself. You're, uh, but it, it, I, I don't know. That's all right, chat. Whatever. You It'd know, be like that. We, we just can't have a perfect stream. It's just not allowed. <laughs> Something has to be goofy For and we sure. have to work on. Um, if we were pro streamers, then, you know, that it would happen. So. You, you mean you're not? I'm not. And we do we get the dragon. The dragon baby. Let's that's so get it. Free. Miriam does come Literal in with a cleaver. Free. Dr. Mundo. God. I'm that was so, pretty big. Huge. That was Predict big. That was prediction. very big. Already throwing people off the charts. No idea what's For going sure. on. For sure. Zach literally just walked out of the yeah, room. Zach He's walked away throwing, for whatever already reason. Already throwing yep. chat. Please get a Zach throwing in the chat. Uh, he will get you your we got dragon, by just the way. a second. We did steal dragon. Very pog champ. Um, we have all the objective timers huge. up. Very good. Um, let's Dude, what do you what do you think about that Lulu top, man? Bro, they were they were talking about it, and I was just like. <laughs> had I had to do that job, I would have been completely lost. Yeah, I would have right. been like, oh, like, double support, easy peasy. Like, like, what is going on? I've been but, maining top lane, and that's something I've never oh, seen Oh, I would have freaked so out. I was just I like, uh... Out, 100%, yeah. No <laughs> idea why there's a Lulu top. Raleigh fix, fixes camera at 50 view. What is yes, wrong with sir. my camera? Uh, I don't know, but mine's, like, small compared to yours. Corey's you just could, short. I mean, you could tell. Me. Well, yours is all the way up here, yeah. Corey's just short, guys. I don't oh know what to tell gosh. you. I'm not five foot four like Zach. That is true. You are not five foot four. Yeah, but now I'm out of frame. You put me out of frame. Oh, yeah. what the? Yeah. All right, whatever. I can go, That's I can go this way. Yeah. Okay, my bad. The cameras moved on us when we restarted, so I don't know to tell you. They looked good beforehand. Five foot four pog. Yeah, I wonder if Zach ate all this cake. Can you confirm you ate all your cake? He ate some of his cake, chat confirmed. He probably ate all the rest of the icing, though, after he chugged half of it. I mean... I would have. So, chat, we have <laughs> a couple of hot takes that we for we were going to tell you about before the audio had a freak out. Uh, Kenna has said for every sub, she will add 5% to her overall power. For every follow, she will add 2%. And for every 100 channel points donated towards the channel point goal, she will add one extra percent. So right now... I've subbed and Charcoal has subbed, and we had a follower two hours ago. Uh, yes, we're not going to count the followers, so we're only going to have 10% right now off of Kenna. So if you want us to win this game, by God, you better find some friends to follow, or you better sub to the channel, or you better donate some channel points. Otherwise, Kenna will not unleash her full power. We are going to see Seth very sneakily dodge. He will, he will get down to the Hecarim. Um, luckily, he did not feed that kill to the Silas. We're going to see Orin bullying the Lulu top lane. Not super surprised about that. Holy, that was a lot of channel points. That was. 2K. That's that 2K. was quite a bit. That's a lot of channel points. I'm pretty so. sure we're getting pretty close. We're 82% right now. Hey, let's that's, go. That's, that's, that's pretty huge. huge, man. That's pretty big. When you do predictions, place it left, please. 
What do you mean place it left? What do you want to place? What, I don't. I don't understand. What? 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 What about oh, it? Oh, I missed this one. Whoops. I missed it too. Son of a gun. I, I get, get it. it. Okay, cool. That's good, all that matters. That's I don't another know what, 2, I don't know what he's talking about. Pogchamp, dude. We're at 90 percent now. That's hey, pretty crazy, man. Hey. It's crazy. Four thousand. Jeez. We're about to run it up. Yeah, Jack. they're running it up. Hey, and we gotta kill top lane on the Lulu. Play support in support lane. That's all I'm saying. It's kind of weird, champ. Not wrong. DBZ You're not powerball scan. Yeah, Ken is about to hit that. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the the what? Right. I'm sorry. The hot. I, I never watched Dragon Ball. I can tell. <laughs> Ah, the dude. what? The hottie? I don't know. I never watched Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I started way later in life. All right, you know, my mom wouldn't let me watch that as a kid. She said it made me violent. <laughs> oh my! Is so stream is so low quality. Whoops. Uh, you should uh, get better in that. Yeah, that's not that's on your side, buddy. This <laughs> stuff is in high. You can see Corey's pores, chat. This is definitely not low quality. All right. Not wrong. The only thing low quality about this. We don't have more of that's dirty spam in the chat. That's the only thing low quality about this stream right now, chat. And you can fix that with the help. <laughs> and the audio. It, but that's, that's yeah, a different story. That's, that's, that's a different story. That's, that's a different, different story. story. That's what I'm talking about. is going <laughs> to W out of that to make it alive. She the does Hecarim's all the Hecarim chase. there to save a life. Yeah, the Hecarim will chase. We will so see the there. Leona. Yeah, Leona go down to that. Unfortunate. We've seen like a three-man bot slide. Super annoying. Um, also, not really surprised, though. Um, obviously Heckam's job. Seth's gonna come Seth down here, gonna down. Come stick really... his nose in this fight. Oh, Hopefully he so can pick Miriam. one. Where is he? A I think big if, if fight down the line. rest of the team really follows up here, if he hits that ult, oh, that could be oh, pretty big. Oh, Seth with a big pick there. Seth Caleb's gonna get a pick there. He's big. gonna get turned into a squirrel. Caleb's gonna go for a second pick before he dies. So Caleb will get a double. We'll get a double That's kill. He will fall. Um, but Ken is already back in time, already spawned down to that bottom lane in order to kind of defend that and push them back off that tower. That Lulu already has three kills, man. Yeah, that's that, that Lulu's kind of fragging, Loki. Unfortunately, we're probably going to see them just manhandle this bo this bottom tower. Oh, They're not going to sure. really worry about it. Ken it will flash to get out of that Silas. Um, the Silas chains. Chandler's doing all he can to body block. He will flash he around Chandler. For the Kenna. Uh, just for the kill. Definitely worth it. You know, I think Kenna might have to bump it up to 15%, guys. We're going we to need, we need, need more sub. subs need to get Kenna sub. powered up. 15%. She has a tough lane already. They're already down a bot tower. We need more power 11 minutes in. Uh, the next dragon is spawning. In a, in a, it's already spawned. Uh, we see pings on the map of it. We see Caleb chasing off that Silas, trying to take this scuttle before him. We're going to see Caleb straight up fight the Silas. He, Silas is low health. He will get healed by the Lulu. And polymorph, man, that would be. That, I can't imagine how annoying that is. Just getting polymorph right when Dude, you're trying to that's, fight. Yeah, it they is will annoying. get a big pick on the Lulu. I don't know if we're gonna get any more picks. Mundo looks pretty low. No ult. It looks like it's gonna come from the Mundo. Mundo will go down. We'll drop two more kills to Silas. Silas is six and one at 12 minutes. Two kills a minute. That is a fast KD chat. We are gonna see blue team demand priority over this dragon. They will take this. No contest. We uh, are waiting for the next predictions. So. Hey, John with John the sub. John with the sub. Right, Appreciate right, it. Right, we'll, 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 I'll call Kenna yeah, real quick. Kenna, hey, Kenna, Kenna, 15%, all right? Call it in. Call in the, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We need that, we need that 15%. Any mid-gaps in chat? I wouldn't say mid-gap. It's not mid-gap yet. I mean, obviously, he has a lot of kills, but I don't think Seth is super far down. I do think this this Silas has done a great job roaming. Um, he there's obviously not that much damage even done to this tower. Not a lot of farming done in lane. He's already been roaming so heavily for those kills. Um, definitely, definitely. They've put a ton of pressure bot lane. You would think the way this team is playing that they're worried about Kenna, right? Yeah. Which as they should be. Kenna's the highest player on the team. They've seen those other games where Kenna's fragged out. Um, the next prediction will be. Uh, let's see. What do we have up Caster for next? Push we actually don't even have room back here for caster pushups. Honestly, push God, I cannot a, do I'm caster pushups right I'm now. Be real. We will do them between games, though. We will we will make room between games. We will do that for you guys. Uh, the next prediction we can set for. Or actually, they'll, they'll, they can do it. Oh, they can, yeah, yeah. Reese, Reese yeah, and Richard will do, we'll do the pushups for you guys. We will. Uh, let me let me grab a cam and we'll turn that on for you. <laughs> um, nah, between games, between yeah, games. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll have them do them between games. Don't worry about it. While they're t while they're giving you guys a breakdown, I think he also game, does we'll get hit the, the hit right there. That's actually a big shutdown. That, that's, that's a, a big pretty good pick off. Yeah, big pick he off that Silas. That. Uh, go ahead and set the next uh, prediction as next dragon for me, Zach. Zach's gonna get you guys hooked up with the next prediction here. Uh, let's go, Simo Microwaves. A, we will do the push-ups between games while Rich and Reese are giving you guys a breakdown. Corey and I will leave our camera on. 
Just get swole, you know, facts, easy peasy. Facts. Just like Kenna in the bot lane. Just get Which, crazy. By the way, be sure to stick around because after this game, we do have a Ooh, really big announcement. Juicy You're announcement. You're going to want to know this. You're really going to want to know. Super fire announcement. We did see Caleb pick up the Rift Herald. He's going to drop it mid. Uh, there's three people in mid lane. They're really trying to push down this tower. As soon as they can take down this mid tower, they can start roaming. They don't have to worry about it. They can start playing around this Silas and not giving him so much engagement. Which, I don't know if we'll be able to get this tower. They are there. We'll definitely They're take a big chunk out of that, though. Oh, yeah, which is, for sure. I mean, it obviously, is, that's is. super huge. Um, right at 14 minutes, so we're no longer going for plates. But it's still a lot of damage off that tower. Tower's a tower. It's there. a super good idea. Ken is going to get taken down there. We're going to see Chandler trying to back away off the Hecarim. Hecarim will take him out. Caleb trying to defend the tower. Uh, he's in a 3v1 situation. Not a super fun time, I'm 1v4, sure. 1v4, actually. Oh, there's four. Yeah, there's the yeah, Lulu. So yeah. we are going to see Orn kind of step down. Um, I don't think we're going to get engaged on this. I don't recommend it. Um, we do see the Hecarim off to the right side, double buffed up on a Tuesday afternoon, trying to jump <laughs> over the wall onto Caleb under tower. Um, I mean, that's what Hecarim does, though. I mean, that's, yeah, that's his Orn entire is there, I don't know if he's going to come in. We will he see Caleb get picked in. out. They will dive him under tower. They're going to try to dive Hecarim will dive under tower as well. Hecarim will take two tower Orn does three ult. tower shots. That Hecarim is all but dead there off the tower shots alone. We will see Seth come in right at the right time and pick out that Silas. That's a big pick. They will take that's the tower. That was a really... That's the second major tower dive we've seen where they've just completely ignored tier one tower yeah. and just pushed straight past it. We did see that Hecarim tank three tower shots for that engagement, but to his team, that was definitely worth it, and it was definitely worth his life. So we got Kenna back on the back in the fight now. Uh, half health, getting kind of bursted down by those Zaya Vi feathers. Hecarim coming out of nowhere. Kenna's going to go right for that Kenna. Yeah. Hecarim's going right for the Kenna. Like I said, the whole team, you can obviously tell they are prioritizing Kenna. They know she's going to be a problem later in the game, and so they're going to make sure they focus her down. Um, the good thing is, it doesn't seem as though they're pressuring Seth nearly as much, which I know Simo, as they as our other casters mentioned, have prioritized making sure they ban out that mid lane so Seth and Kenna both have a fighting chance of stacking. He does die by tower. That's kind of funny. I thought he made it out there by time, but yeah, I guess not. Hey, it's crazy. kills a kill, baby. We'll it take is it. Simo Definitely is needed. down uh, a couple kills. You know, 12 it's, kills. Yeah, but it's Actually, pretty big yeah, yeah. gold difference, though. Big gold difference, we'll obviously. If we hit X, we can check out, maybe, if it lets us. There it is. Um, so we can see the gold spread amongst the teams. Um, obviously, your your top your top fraggers are going to have the most gold. Hecarim leading with 8K. Um, Silas quite quickly fall with 7K. That is... For 16 minutes yeah, in I mean, right obviously now. Obviously, that's, that's, you can look at his items. Yeah. He's already got Triforce, he one of the most expensive Sterics. items in the game. And he's got Sterics his boots is a and big boy item. Yeah. Um, so it's he's already techie. got... All of them, everybody's already got their mythics except Kenna. Um, Kenna's down in farm, which we, is not something we usually see in Kenna, but obviously we're not surprised with how many times they've yeah. been dove in bot lane. I was about to say, there's been not like four people in bot lane half the game. She hasn't been so able to farm. There's really not much she could yeah. do in that situation. So Kenna, Kenna and Chandler, uh, still not to their mythic items yet. Definitely getting bullied down in that top lane with how many roams they've seen. Um, Rakan has 15 assists. Hey, real bacon. Rip. Thank hey, you for the host. appreciate the host. Rakan has 15 assists, only one death. Rakan is playing out the support game. He's a he's just a beefy beefy he support um, with a lot of healing. Not surprised he stayed alive so well with his with his Zaya. They do take Infernal there though. So blue kind of just gave that up. So which blue I mean, will take second dragon. Do. I don't really know if that's a dragon we even consider contesting. Yeah, we, there was no way we um, can contest for it. sure. We're gonna see uh, four roaming mid. Um, we're gonna see. Yep, yeah, Seth's gonna get caught out mid, but we will trade for Harold. Um, hopefully we can make a good use of this Herald as we um, give up a lot of presence in mid. We're going to see Hecarim kind of stick around. Um, I don't think they're going to quite push for Tier 2 Tower mid yet. They're going to see Caleb they get caught the out. Back here. They did stop the Orn back. Not a lot of damage coming from that Lulu on the Orn. Um, Orn's only died once, so definitely not a lot of those of those kills that, that Lulu has are from that Orn. Luckily, um, the worst thing you want to see is somebody get fed in that top lane because it's for just sure. 1v1. For sure. Um, uh, they take another tower here. That's kind of that's our second, that's our tier two. So, especially in mid, that's not one you really want to lose sure. this early in the game. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see them start just single pr solo pressuring inside of definitely, inhibs, definitely um, going for inhib towers and then going for those inhibs themselves. Um, especially with how split they've been playing. We, what do we see? What are we looking at here? We got red uh, camping. Just yeah, that's uh, that's something. Yeah. We've, yeah, so, the, okay, so they're camping on the Orin. They're waiting to pick him out. He was between towers. 
He's gonna dash under tower. They're gonna they're gonna push him under tower. They are. They, they will are burst him down. Him. Um, not many people. I think right here the best shots. that we can do is try to counter by getting another turret. We will see, see Seth. Bot, yeah, we do see Seth bot lane yeah. going for that split push. Um, they're five minning on top lane, so I don't know how quickly Seth by himself would be able to push without having to. Uh, back he's gonna have to respond. take that and just back. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna see him back. He's gonna have to start responding to this. Next dragon up in three minutes. Uh, we have uh, Baron up in twenty seconds or in thirty seconds. Excuse me. Um, with blue team so heavily five man pressured top lane, I think they're gonna run it down until they actually are responded to, and then just back out and go Baron. Which I mean, at this point of the game, I think that's the right. That's the only to thing do. they have. That's yeah. all they have. They can just sit up here. They either get completely wiped or they just back out and take Baron. For sure. Which that's actually looks like they room. could possibly wipe us here. Yeah, for sure. Orin's definitely caught out by himself. He has no tower to help defend him. He's gonna get bursted down by three people. I don't with think Kenna I, yeah. not still not having her mythic here. Yeah, Kenna's unable to really, yeah. really start fragging out with that Tristana heavy. Um, they knew Kenna was going to be a hyper carry here, and they made sure she was not going to be able to stack. Which they actually backed off, which I, I personally think they could have ended. For sure. With I'm be only, honest. With only um, Kenna and, and yeah. just now Leona popping yeah, up. Yeah, at least they could have got harder. another tower at minimum. For sure. So um, they're gonna, they're all gonna back. Actually, they're not gonna even establish presence at Baron, um, and so Simo's gonna have to just kind of recoup, push out these lanes. Um, definitely gives them vision. Yeah, for we, sure. We need vision in uh, not we only do the have jungle, a, We but do also have a good, like, a pretty good amount of vision up in top jungle. Um, not so much in bottom jungle, nor in river. And so that's going to be something. The, the Baron's definitely going to be a priority uh, vision um, right now is is making sure we get that checked because that's obviously one of the objectives they're going to yeah. be looking for very soon. No minion wave? There was a couple minions left. With the amount of minions they have, I think with all five of them, they could have taken one tower. Personally, but for sure. I don't know. Well, I mean, we saw how how willing they are to dive towers and take some tower shots. Yeah. Um, and with how quick they're bursting that down with that Zai and that Rakan. Yeah. I mean, they. I, I feel like they could have definitely uh, played around with it a little bit more. We do see Mundo has his Rift Herald still, so I'm wondering where he's gonna pop that. Um, with such a big presence, blue. I don't know if he's gonna even consider dropping it mid. Um. I don't think he's got time to rotate all the way to top, though. He he has a little bit less than yeah. You know, I think he just tries clock. to go somewhere and drop it. To be yeah. honest, I don't even know if he's paying attention to it. He might he might not he might he might consider it just not worth. Not Which being able if to he drop gets out. picked off here, oh, yeah, I think that, it's already that, too late. Yeah, I think so. The rift just canceled yeah. there, um, so we won't. Oh, maybe it didn't. Oh, maybe I think it was just because he was not silence or something. Yeah. So he still has it. Um, I mean, he very well could drop it here. I don't think it's going to do much. So, I don't worst think case, drop you drop it. it and they have to respond to it. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely going to be not viable play anymore. And it timed out. Yeah, that's unlucky. I mean, oh, it didn't time out. He was able what? to pull. He was able to pull it just long enough to that's get it over. He's going to drop it down bot lane. Eventually, they'll have to respond to it. <laughs> uh, it's going to take it a while to get all the way to the. I mean, that's what we tower. want though, because I mean, if they don't respond to it, it's just going to keep pushing. Yeah, for sure. So. I think that's that's actually not a bad play putting a bot. Actually, yeah, since Baron is up, he should drop it bot yeah, for sure. Pressure. Yeah, see. We're seeing a lot of big fights here. We're gonna see a hugeified Zaya. We will see Seth take out the Zaya. We will see the Mundo get taken down by the Hecarim. Orin's on the backside of this fight, trying to stay underneath that tower. That tower's not got enough life to even stay under. Orin's gonna yeah, kind of pull away ahead. from the fight, away from his teammates and support. Um, he's going to get picked out on Lonesome. He does not have a top tower to back into. Uh, Kenna and Chandler hugging up against these, these last two remaining towers. Um, they're just going to tower dive them. They're going to push them in pretty hard. We will see the Zanyas popped on the Silas. I don't think we'll get the pick on that. I don't think so either. Yeah, not with unlucky. that Rakan there. Oh, he will. Oh, oh Kenna did get him get with it. a following shot. That's very nice. That's actually pretty big. That will give Kenna a little bit oh, of money. Sure, I think she sure. has enough for her Mythic now. That is a so shutdown. I don't know uh, if she's going to have enough time to even step back and grab that. In my, uh, and yeah, honestly, she's got so not. much going on in their base. Uh, Hecarim half health. We're going to see that. Mundo just starts. Mundo, that was a big chunk. That was a Did you see big that? Big cleaver. Mundo's uh, doing some damage. What is, what, he's got he's got Sunfire. He's got Boots. He doesn't even have a second item yet. Um, so he's not adding a ton of damage just on those cleaves alone. But he is doing damage. He's obviously level a level 11. Um, he's getting into it. 
Um, Looks like we're trying to get a little pressure on Dragon here, actually. So we do have uh, CS Pryo in top lane and in mid, and so um, we do see a little bit of tw a 20, 20 gap in jungle and then that big uh, 40 gap bot lane that we mentioned earlier because of how many bot lane ganks we saw on that Kenna. That Hecarim uh, is just so far ahead. Same yeah. thing with the Zayad. They're so, so far we're gonna ahead. So we're going to see Simo dominate, dominate pr uh, priority on this Dragon. We will take the Dragon. Um, I don't know if it was worth uh, uh. a four-man wipe. Uh, especially with it only being our second dragon and yeah, their third dragon, I don't think that was I worth. I don't think that was worth just because of how quickly they can now end. We do not have enough towers to give up for that dragon to have made. Wait, was um, this next dragon prediction the old dragon prediction? I'm not I, sure. I think it may have been the old dragon prediction, but you. I'm not sure. So yeah, that dragon definitely unlucky. Uh, definitely a four-man pick we did not want to see there. Orin's going to do all he can. They will see both turrets go out. Orin's going to get caught out. He's just going to back into base. There's nothing he can do here. Uh, Sima will fall at the 25-minute mark. Um, that will be game number one. Uh, going to Team Too Tired Davenport University. Yes, sir. All right. We are going to pass this off to the analysis. Well, guys. actually, we have an uh, announcement. Oh, we yeah, do have an announcement. We do have an announcement. That is very true. Very true. Uh, yeah. All right, that is game number one for you guys. Let me let me get this for you guys. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, so that is game number one, going towards Team Too Tired, Davenport University. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm super excited to announce. Let me get some. We gotta get some music in here. You know, really gotta get some <laughs> tunes in the background. We do. We do. All right. All right. All right. Which Ladies actually, I mean, where's your Simo merch at, mate, man? So, okay, so I was in my closet and I was like, "Dang, I need a Simo shirt to wear tonight." We like, do. We got yeah. Corey in the Simo merch. We got Rich in the Simo merch. We got Reese in the Simo merch. Yeah. And I just didn't have any shirts like ready to go, look good, clean, any of them. Ready right? to do your laundry, huh? I, I know. And so I thought to myself, Slacking, like, man. what what would help me have more Simo merch? What would you come up to? Simo Esports put out Simo merch. I would have so much more to wear, right? True. True. Chat. If Simo had merch, would you guys buy it? Just a question. Just a random question. Yeah. Let me go us. to. <laughs> I need. I need the. I need the, the. The Chrome window. Give me the Chrome window. This one. Give me this window. Oh no! I forgot. Yeah, but they're on all of them now. No. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, <laughs> chat, Corey messed it up. Hold on, let me get. I didn't this. mess it up. Zach uh, said it's Yeah, Zach messed it up. Zach, me chat. Everybody blame Zach. I was gonna have a smooth announcement, and Zach messed it up. All right, all right. We got it. We got it. We got it. Bonk. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, check this go out. Cover me up. Go into the chat. <laughs> type in exclamation point merch. Click that link, takes you to our brand new merch page. Oh my goodness gracious, Simo Esports now has merch. Check out this bad, bad news merch. Holy moly. We got jerseys, we got masks, we got these t-shirts that all have the same logo because I didn't make them. Boom shakalaka, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we will be coming out with a... We will updated. have a t-shirt design just as soon as we can. All I had time for was the jerseys and the masks. We will get that t-shirt design out very, very soon. But... This is amazing. This is a company called Esports Gear. Uh, all of this is online, so no longer do you guys have to wait for the big uh, bulk order, and, and it takes three weeks, and you got to give me your money. You guys can go online to this website. You can buy your stuff on the spot. They will ship it to you, and it's all cheaper than what we were spending on last year. Not only that, but ladies and gentlemen, your friends, your family, your mom, your dad, your grandma, all of Corey's family, they can all <laughs> buy this merch. Everything on here except the jerseys is available to everyone who is a supporter, a member, a fan, you name it, you guys are able to buy it. The best, best, bestest part of this deal is that we get a kickback off of every piece of merch sold. Every jersey, every mask, every t-shirt, we get a kickback off of this in order that, that money that comes back to the club. So you buy a mask, you're not only buying a mask and representing some esports, but you're supporting us, you're putting money into our pockets so we can keep making the club better for you guys. So check out these jerseys. You will have to have a passcode in order to buy a jersey. So those jerseys right now will be limited to competitive members only. So play on the Valorant team, you play on the league team, you guys will get a passcode to buy these jerseys. That way there's like a benefit for playing on our teams and representing us, right? We will put out a cool couple of t-shirt designs and other items. Um... In the future, very, very soon, 
future I say that, but it, it will be very, very soon. Uh, that you guys will be able to buy as non as non competitive members or as club members or family members, all that kind of jazz. But check this out: we got T-shirts, we got women's cut T-shirts, we got sleeveless shirts. You're trying to hit the gym, show people that you play video games. Boom! Take the sleeves off. Easy peasy. I, I don't think those. Out. I don't think they, they go together. Yes, they do. Hundred <laughs> percent. Tyler one winnable baby. He's buff, right? We got tank tops. We've got pullovers. We've got hoodies. All of that we can put SEMA merch on for you guys. So. Definitely check this out. Huge announcement. This is super sick right now. If I get my code right now, I will buy the jersey right now. For the competitive? Pog. I will DM yeah. that to you right now. Chat. Uh, Larson's actually asking for it as well. All right. I, anybody who's a competitive Discord. member, DM me on, on Discord. I will shoot you the link. What's the difference between the hoodies? Uh, so one's like a premium one, and I'm guessing one is cotton, one's like fleece. I think it's just, yeah, I, I would say it's the material. They have all the information like listed right here, so just go read them. Exclamation point link or exclamation point merch will take you to the um, to the website and then you guys can buy it from there. Like I said, every purchase you guys have is a kickback towards the club. Uh, I need to click out of this. Every every purchase kickback towards the club um, s helps us out a super duper ton. Um, but yes, that's a huge announcement for us. We're very very excited about this. Um, I cannot wait for our players to jump in these jerseys, start playing in these. It's gonna look awesome. We need to click into the spectate button. I got it. Um, so definitely go check that out. DM me if you need the passcode. If you guys buy this and send me a screenshot that you have purchased something, you will be entered in a giveaway. And I don't know what we're giving away, <laughs> but I thought about it, and I want I want you guys to uh, I want to support you guys for supporting us. And so we're gonna put you guys in the giveaway. Also, if you see right here this sub goal. If we hit 50 subs, we will be doing a mask giveaway as well as a t-shirt giveaway. We will be giving away a full kit so you can walk out of this room, boom, head to toe. See what straight drip, man. Straight, straight drip, drip. Right? So, 50 subs, mask and t-shirt giveaway. And if you buy something, send me a screenshot and we will put you in a giveaway. I don't know what we're giving away, but I'll figure it out. Yeah, so if you guys are competitive gamers uh, that you're on a team... Be sure to message Raleigh. He'll give you guys the code, yep. and you'll be able to access the uh, super, jersey super. page. Uh, if you click the shirts, they do have a second color, which I think is black. Uh, yes. It, that or, yeah, it's yeah, black. It's so they have black shirts. They just don't list the black ones first. So there you go. So just click on the shirt and change, select what color you would like. But that is our huge, super amazing announcement. This is going to be really good for the club. Um, I can't wait for you guys to have merch to represent as well as – um, jerseys, of course, the masks, and then obviously this is really helpful for the club to start getting that money back. Um, if Jack you guys, actually has a really good question. Do I count as a competitive gamer if CSGO isn't in a league right now? Yes, you are on an academy team, um, and so you do count as a competitive gamer. Thank you. Um, if you have ideas for extra merch or things to put on t-shirts, please message Zach. Zach is our graphic designer. He will take care of those ideas, and he will start building in new ideas for them. Or even if you, you know, have a whole T-shirt design. True, saying, very true. Submit it. Idea Maybe free it, it shipping. pops up on the, on the uh, site. We don't, we don't handle that, so no. I don't know how much yeah. the shipping is. I haven't looked. But there you go. It helps out us, and they're pretty neat. So there you go. You should buy one. Thank you. Uh, we are going to, I think, jump into Spectate. Uh, let me pull this up. We're going to pass this, the rock over to our analysis gentlemen, and they are going to analyze the second game for the Pick and Bands. Bop. Oop, it's this one. Ha ha ha. Uh, there you go. Reese? Yeah, that really was. That was that was really hype. Uh, I'm actually gonna go back back to my dorm room here after the stream. Uh, I'm gonna go to that website. I'm gonna get me some merch. Probably a jersey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm. Gonna, you, you got your jersey on. I, 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 I didn't I mean, I'm not a better team this semester because <laughs> I, I do this. Uh, but anyway, um, we don't even have time to analyze that first yeah. game because we're right in the second game, the yep. second game draft. So yeah. Nivia Victor and is it Seraphine? University is Shawnee Scarner. Um, they've made a little bit, a little Ooh, bit of the Lulu instead of the Seraphine. Lulu instead of Seraphine. Oh, oh but, but there's, there's a Seraphine. Seraphine anyway. Yeah, so it's it's weird that Danforth University actually bans the Seraphine because mm -hmm. they're the ones that play it, but they probably also look at Chandler and yep. realize that he played a lot. Of Chandler and Kenna both like to play the Seraphine a yeah, lot, so, so that's probably what it is. And with Kaiza not getting banned by Davenport, Kaiza's gonna get first pick by some mini sports. The the expected answer here. Uh, I the hecker room pick again. Uh, they they seemed to work last time. The hecker room could just go in and you know he had his full team to support him. So 
Let's see, yeah. see if they can do it again. This time, Davenport, though, taking the Leona away from Chandler. Leona's really strong. Leona's just really, really strong. Yep. But then Morgana, the, Chandler loves to play Morgana. He does. So he does. This is definitely a Chandler comfort pick. It was also something that Davenport hovered in the last game. So it's something that both teams play. We see a lot of champion pools getting like shared here. And then Ooh. if this jar gets selected, this this is something that Caleb and Jacob, the previous mm -hmm. jungler, both play. So um, here's the thing about Jarvan, though. Uh, lethality or tank? Yet to be determined. That is true. And just like last draft, we have mid-top still to be picked going to phase two for Simo. And Downport with still one selection left. Um, may look at mid lane, may look to counter pick the bot laner. Yeah, just as my Simo guess is another bot time. laner. That's yep, Tristana. The expected answer, right? Last time they went Zyvercon, Davenport side, and this side, you could basically flip the drafts. And you could say, okay, that that's a similar composition to what Simo had on red side last mm -hmm, game, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so these adaptations, they're flip flopping compositions essentially, aren't they? Yep, yep, definitely. Uh, the Hecarim still staying the same on the side of Davenport. However, the Leona Tristana is actually going to go over to them this time because Simo had first pick and did do the Kaisa Morgana. Uh, Leona Tristana, very powerful uh, combo there. Uh, you got the CC, and then the Tristana can, you know, do whatever she wants, uh, either jump in or jump away, so tons of safety. Uh, however, the Morgana does have the root, does have the black shield, so very volatile bot lane. Right, and Yasuo, that was picked last game by Simo, banned this time for Davenport, and then... And vice versa the Silas, for the Silas. Vice versa, yeah. so looking at new mid lane champions, top lane... Who knows that Lulu's banned, but we can see the Orn Ooh, for Davenport. Like, and again, you can just flip flip each side and you have the draft from last game in a way. But if this Orn gets selected, what is Caleb gonna play? Well, Orn is the left because they're gonna pick Nar. I expect Orn into this actually. All right, you gotta you gotta you gotta look at this chat real quick here. You just gotta look at this. They're, they're flaming me in chat. <laughs> what? what? I'm not even I'm not what? even a caster. I'm an analysis playing. desk guy. He's not even playing, guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. However, what? the NAR top lane, uh, that, that's the pick you were talking about last game that you, yeah, you know, thought really you would see. see. They did not end up taking the orange. So let's see if Simo actually picks that up again. Yeah, and Cassiopeia, Seth really likes this Cassiopeia. Played it last week. Again, champions that is consistently being played by Seth. Cassiopeia, late game carry can definitely carry his way in the late game. If they can even get to the late game. Yeah, which last, game, last game, it was just, you know, super fast paced, button heads the entire time, and then uh, Davenport ended up grouping, just carried the game from there, snowballed super hard. However, Simo Esports, with the picks control that they have, that. look like they might be able to control that just a little bit more, if they play a little bit more carefully, and, and maybe they'll an, survive towards And with game. an infinitely scaling Cho'Gath, you get more. Um, And Zillion's gonna be the instant Instant last selection. Counterpick into Cassiopeia. We've seen Bjergsen, former pro player for Team Solomon, <laughs> bring out the Zillion quite frequently, right? Yup, yup. Similar to last game, right? We have a support primarily played in the in the solo lane, right? Last game was Lulu. This time it's Zillion. What, what do we think about this this way that Davenport's playing? So I think it all comes down to the jungle pick. You know, the jungle is being the carry currently, uh, especially with a Hecarim. Uh, he can go in, he can do tons of damage, he can peel for his team, he can do a lot. So as long as he has his supports backing him up, he's not going to die very easily and can carry the game like you saw him do last game. Yeah, but the issue with these multi-support compositions is that they rely on one or two people yep, to strictly yep. carry. And most of the time, they lack a main tank. Yes, yep. In this sort of game, they have both Leona, who's a support and won't get as tanky in the late game, and Nar, who's more of a bruiser. Mm -hmm. So they have these sort of ways to engage, but just like last game, if Davenport doesn't get to the late game, Simo have the scaling. Yep, yep, yep. So that, that was the kind of a thing like I was talking last time, you know. I, I, I knew uh, Davenport was going to get ahead early, but I thought Simo could, you know, survive a little bit longer and outscale him in the end. However... Davenport did a really good job of just keeping up the tempo with the game and just snowballing from there. And it looks like they're going to try to do it again with this comp. Yeah, you know? a, lots of dive. In last game, we saw Zion Rakan diving tower, diving tier two, Silas doing the same thing, right? With a Zillion, man, they're not able to do that as much. However, you just trade. Zillion Hecarim, you know, synergy. You know, Hecarim, he's all about the speed. Oh, yeah, he yeah. goes in, does tons of damage. The more speed he has, the more damage he does. Zillion oh, yeah. clicks his button, Hecarim goes zoom. Yeah. 
and I, I would have loved to see an Oriana picked here because of the uh, Wombo yep. composition, but I'm, I'm not going to get my Oriana. <laughs> but it, Zillion, very good selection into it. Um, but the infinite, the infinitely scaling Cho'Gath, as well as Cassiopeia, as well as Jarvan being able to just dive in a lockdown target really easily, Kai's able to hop in. Simo has the late game composition, right? Definitely, like, definitely. Like, they scale. Like, if this game gets past, like, 30 minutes, Simo scales extremely well. I mean, you see Nar played in, in the pro in the pro leagues all the time simply because, uh, you know, his versatility and, like, he can do some big things with his ult if he gets a chance to. However, he's not the best stat-wise. I definitely think someone like a Cho'Gath who has the infinite scaling, the later the game goes, the better it is for that top lane matchup. And I also think the same kind of applies uh, in other lanes as well. Zillion, you know, can do a ton of damage if he builds it straight AP. However, if he's going to be building that support for the Hecarim, uh, you're not going to see as much damage as, you know, coming from the Cassiopeia. Uh, she does tons of damage. Uh, her stun from her ult is just a huge thing. Can turn a team fight in an instant. Uh, it's it's going to be, it's going to it's going to come down to that early game again, like it did last game. If Simo can hold on, I definitely think they have they have the dub, but they got to get through laning first. Yeah, they, they have to get through laning. And like in the last game, we saw Zyrakon and Silas in the mid lane become an extremely hard to deal with problem. Yep. As they approached 20 minutes, they were diving tier threes at 20 And it minutes. all started like, because the Silas Hecarim kind of worked together and they both got multiple kills early on. So that's two of their main carries getting ahead early. And then it doesn't matter from that point. The supports are just there to keep him alive, so it, it doesn't matter. Right, and the, and the thing with this composition is it's much more difficult, unlike the Silas last game, who could just dash forward and stun his target, right? Zillion's setup is not as easy at all. Yeah, right? he's, he but still has that stun, but it's a lot harder to land. It's much harder to land, but Zillion can enable the Hecarim to go in if need be. So different means of engage, but sort of in a similar way, if they want to attack that mid lane again, which, as we said at the beginning of this game, Acquiescence is a is is it plat is a diamond four player like he's the highest ranked player in this entire lobby. You want to play through him, yep. right? Like if you're a diamond board, you you do play through him. And and in this game, they're going away from that completely, which is bizarre. But at the same time, I I can understand why. Now here's something I will bring up in counter to what I was saying about the scaling in the late game. Uh, Davenport's comp can also be defensive in a way. Jasana can obviously okay. hop out. However, Leona brings an enormous amount of peel. And yeah. Zillion, along with, you know, buffing the movement speed for the Hecarim to get out, or like the Gnar to do the same thing with his hop, Zillion also has his ult. And for those of you who don't know, Zillion's ultimate basically is a revive. He puts it on someone, and if they die within a certain amount of time, they get brought back to life, and, you know, they get some health back. So, if it does get to be that late game, and Simo wants to go for an all-in dive on a, on a big carry target... Zillion can click his R button and keep them alive for a little bit longer, and it gives them a chance to turn it back. So Simo still is going to have to be careful towards the late game. Yeah, and especially if they leave that target alive. Like, if you don't want the revive to pop, right, you still keep that target alive. And that revive on somebody like Tristana or Hecarim, right? Mm -hmm. Even if you don't want to kill that target because they're just going to get revived next, right? You have to play these team fights a very specific way around the Zillion ultimate, unless you can purge it early, but Zillion's ultimate's on a really low cooldown. Yep. We expect it to be even lower if he decides to go support build. So, so lane by lane, how are we expecting this to go? We have a minute until we go into game. All right, so early game, top stuff. lane, Nar wins. He's just got the range. He's got the, uh, the, the better stats. Cho'Gath is a really squishy, tiny guy uh, before he can start stacking his ultimate. Uh, jungle, what do you think? I think Hecarim clears faster, but what do you, what do you say? Yeah, so Jarvan's going to have more gank pressure. Yeah, especially Hecarim even at level 2 he can gank, so maybe yeah. a level 2 gank comes in. Yeah, but Hecarim really has to hit 6, but can gank, but Jarvan has a more consistent gank, especially once he reaches 6, able to stun, stun targets into his ultimate. Yep. Um, and then the mid lane. Um, Zillion just meant to stabilize the lane. Not going to do well in the Cassiopeia. Not, maybe not a lot of action going to go there, but if Hecarim goes the same route as last time, we're going to see a lot of action there. Yep, yep. And then bot side, Chandler on his Morgana, we're going to Kai's against Tristan and Leona. How do you think it's going to go? That's spot All right. Here. Uh, if I know Chandler, and I do because I've played with him a little bit, he's going to hit some nasty cues. And nasty. Kenna is just itching to jump all over it. So she's going to she's gonna see a Q land on a Tristana that doesn't have her jump up, and she's going to go in. She's going to get a really early kill on the Tristana. That's, right. that's what I'm guessing. Okay. As we're going into game, what time is this game going to end? 
And who's going to win it? Is, are we going to break to game three? All right. 34 minutes this time. 34? SEMA wins. Game three. Silver scrapes, you know. So, uh, I can scra- hear the boo already. Oh, yeah. boo Yep. So they just got to survive. Doing. Do me a favor, Simo. Survive laning phase, survive all right? Phase, Do that, and, and then you're good. Yeah, and with that, as we're going into the game, we're going to head back over to Corey and Rally if they're ready. Yeah, and they're ready. So we're going to head back over to them, and we're going to hold for game three. Yes, all sir. Right. We're going to get back over. We Thank don't want to get in their camera frame. For those analysis, We man. did not lag out this time. Uh, we were very careful pog. about uh, making sure nothing happened. And also, we did fix scoreboard. We did you fix the scoreboard be, between be time. So we are we are on top of our stuff right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let me get objective timers. Let me get the scoreboard. Wait, bada bing, bada boom. All right, chat, we are in it to win it. Let's go. We have Simo on the blue side this time. We have two tired Davenport University on the right. All right, so our analysis, we you guys down. You guys should be experts on this team comp already. Uh, Corey and I were just looking at our jerseys, already already getting our, our jerseys ordered <laughs> in. Uh, I was DMing about a thousand people uh, for the code. Uh, da, 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 yeah, da. DM uh, Raleigh for the code. If you yeah, if you need the code, please DM me. If I don't, if you don't think I know who you are, just tell me what team you're on. Uh, um, so John, you missed it. We have a merch shop now. Uh, new jerseys. You need a code for so we only competitive players have the jerseys. To get the code, you have to DM Raleigh. Yep. I, I wanted to feel popular tonight, and so I wanted you a bunch of people to, to message me. He's uh, feeling very lonely lately. Yeah, for sure. So I wanted a lot of people to DM me, uh, make me feel kind of important. Uh, <laughs> chat, so I did. So if you watch the chirp, you would know uh, that we do have our lovely Red Bull fridge, and we, we were supposed to get a new one we were. Uh, for the Valorant Campus Clutch. Uh, it didn't come in with our original shipment, but I, uh, I contacted my contact today, uh, and she said she is very hopeful... Uh, and pretty confident that we will get one next week. John, you are not paying attention. You were not here for the big announcement. Exclamation point merch. That is okay. You will figure it out. Uh, hit that nasty website, and you will find some sweet, sweet merch that can be purchased. But actually, no. You're supposed to go straight to Brazil. Yep. Um, yep. The you have to learn yep. Portuguese, believe yeah, it or not. You do. Uh, but once you do all of that, then you can Then get the you merch. can buy the jersey, for sure. Bro, I was working. Hey, now you got money to buy your jersey, bro. <laughs> buy some masks. Buy some jersey. Give, give us that nice little kickback. Uh, I have 10 messages on my phone already. Holy, you guys want some jerseys pretty bad? I'd love to see it. Don't forget, if you do purchase a jersey, a mask, or a t-shirt, send me a picture. We will enter you into a thank you for supporting us game giveaway. Uh, I'll tap me, Mr. Corey. Yep. We didn't pull that back up. Pog champ. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Jacques. Jacques Jean. Jacques Good comms, Jack. Good comms. But Red Bull uh, Valorant Fridge inbound very soon. Chat, if you didn't know, the Red Bull Campus Clutch is March 23rd. You guys can sign up literally 24 hours before then. It is a Red Bull-sponsored 5v5 tournament for each college. We are hosting one. Um, is the giveaway for current students only? No, nope. I think it's for anyone Anybody that purchased. Anybody that buys yeah. something to support us, we want to support you guys and give give some love back since you guys are helping us out. That is a sick NAR skin. I'm not going to front. That, that, that is, is that's absolutely so mega NAR, cool. I think that's a, mega yeah, that is a sick nice. skin. Oh, that's uh, not even mecha NAR. What is that? I, I honestly don't know the name of that skin, but it is it is Richard, I'm, I'm rocking with it. Super Galaxy. That is a that dope is nice. skin. That's clean. So we got the big boys up top. Uh Cho'Gath eventually scaling, Nar being able to ultimate ult ult and Dude, get into right his now, big scale. Nar is disgusting. Nar yeah, is yeah. he's I filthy. see him all over the LCS, so I'm yeah. not surprised when yeah. we see him at this level. I as see well. him all over my YouTube recommended. So You're big top yeah. big top lane guy, huh? <laughs> big top lane. Big you know I gotta watch my guys, guys, you know? <laughs> All right, we have the bets coming in very, very soon. Calm your horses there, Mr. Ezio. I know you love predicting what's yeah, going to happen in the game. Predictions. Zach just sat Zach down. Zach's going to run some predictions for us. He's got the stream pulled up. He's going to take care of you guys. While Mr. and Corey and I just continue chatting about all these wonderful announcements and yes, exciting sir. news that we have today at Team Wii Sports. We do see the Hecarim game. Oh, the Hecarim, man. We didn't. We thought it was not annoying enough once the first time. We let him have it again. Right. Honestly, honestly, I'm surprised I wasn't a ban. Personally. That, that would have been a PTSD um, ban for me. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, no, that that would have been. We're gonna a see Miriam ban. on the Jarvan on the Jarvan gank. Uh, the Nar was gonna bounce off of his head though and go right over and back under his tower. Uh, kind of putting Jarvan in an uncomfortable spot. That's what Nar that does though. That's his crazy. kiting ability is yeah. absolutely filthy. We do see the engagement here from Leona and Trisana does carry. Oh. Ooh. 
Okay, well. A lot of a lot of trade damage going yeah. down. No yeah. deaths here. Uh, kind of huge. We do need to pull our phones back out, Corey, and get back in these. Uh, oh, I'm in. Points. I'm already in. Oh, I've I've been answering yeah. DMs this whole yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. You, you have I'm friends slack now. And, yeah, I got a lot of friends now, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah. We do see first blood. First blood will go to the Leona with a three-man gank bot lane coming in from that Hecarim. That's just a a bunch of people though. Uh, that's like four man gank. I'm sorry, I did not see the zillion down there. So a lot of low health. Which honestly, we're not surprised because we saw how much they moved together as a team last time. Yeah. I'm not surprised I mean, to see yeah, them do uh, that yeah. again here in game two. Me and Corey just threw a fit about that in the game we played earlier. How the team was LCSing, just running around yeah. all five together. And and, unrated. <laughs> yeah, in an unrated. I'm like, come on, man, like just go play ranked. But yeah. in this, it totally makes sense. It's a great way to play, especially if you have that freedom to roam, that freedom to leave your lane and not be super worried about your farm. For sure. Um, right now we do see. Uh, the uh, two tire team is leading in farm everywhere except mid lane. The <laughs> Seth is up by four. Um, yeah. They did give Seth his Casio, uh, which they banned in the first game, but they gave it to him second round, which is nice. We've seen, we've definitely seen Seth frag out. Dude, we've seen Honestly, we, we Seth on Casio, Casio and yeah. and Kenna on on Kaisa. That's, that's what they won their game last time. Yeah, right? that's so, kind of their dream pick. Yeah, for sure. I'm being honest. Um. So we will see Simo grab first dragon. Miriam will just go solo dragon by himself. That's really, really good objective pick for him. Um, he will flash out of this fight. Um, that was a pretty good Morgana stun in there. That was a huge Morgana stun, honestly. Um, really, really solid there. We're going to see Hecarim chase down Seth, bump him under tower. Kind of a weird bump. It's going yeah, to put him into more tower shots. He will that. take tower shot. Only tower shot. He had shield from the Leona. Um, not going to do a ton of damage. We are going to see Chandler sitting in Raptors waiting for that, that bind over wall. That's I really good Nara smart. I used TP there, too. Did he? He did. I did not see it. There you go. Uh, top right. Pogchamp, dude. Good, good comms. Little, little uh, icon action. All right. Another prediction has started, chat. Just kidding. He just term he, he determined the first dragon. Um, yes. Whoops. I voted on the wrong way on that. Morgana imagine. just starts W and you're good to go. This uh, man voted against Simo. I did not imagine. All right, let's check out first tower here, chat. Make sure you get your vote in on who is going to knock down the first tower. We are still inside of 14 minutes, so that means there are still tower plates up. Get some money out of those first two ticks on the tower plate. Uh, we will see Seth go for a quick kill here. We will not get the zillion before dying. Unlucky, the zillion is very low health. We're going to see a positive trade here up top lane with the Cho'Gath going into the Gnar. Um, Zillion is low. Man, we were just seeing so many low health players just not not be uh, like collapsed on and not not have the job finished, which is a very unfortunate. It is. Um, it is. They're doing good trades, just not getting the best of them. So um, hopefully Simo can continue to farm, try and keep that farm gap close. Um, yeah, Simo Simo's down now down farm in every lane, but that's not to be that's to be expected with how much um, movement and like obvious lane priority these these teams have been demanding. Going back to top lane, Cho'Gath. I've been seeing a lot of Cho'Gath lately. Tons of Cho'Gath. Um, yep. He's pretty pretty decent right now. I would I would admit. Dude, he's, he's a you, kinda, let, you let him get late game. Oh yeah, no, that's God. what I'm saying. Like right now, beginning of the game, he might be a little a little weak, but surely around that mid to late game, he is going to be a. Tank. Isn't Jacob like? Playing? No, no. Oh, Zach's playing. Okay, Zach. Zach's playing. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right. I was gonna say, man, you need, <laughs> you need to get the game, bro. There's no shot this game ends in three minutes, so you need to you need to get back to focus. But I got you, I got you. Yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, it always feels that way when you predict on a certain team. Hey, Kenna or yo know, Chandler with the pick. Chandler got the pick. Chandler got the pick. Which is okay. Un he got. He he kept Kenna alive. For that's sure. a bigger that, no, thing. No, that's definitely that is a bigger thing. We don't want to yeah. feed. Um, Leona in Tristana in, I'm dead LOL that Leona XD yeah XD in fact so we do have a prediction out for first tower uh, and it just closed and it just closed so we will see who knocks down that first tower uh, we're Burgers? gonna see Nar pushing in the Cho'Gath um, trying to shove that Wayne up lane up a little bit we do see a lot of vision dominated in the upper river uh, by TT uh, that Hecarim kind of camping out but we also have the Jarvan there so I'm interested to see who's going to engage first on that fight uh, Simo definitely needs to get their vision ward up uh, we are kind of lacking honestly look, just bit. look at the map I see a lot a of it uh, we are going to see Caleb get caught out um, that will be the Hecarim and the Gnar that step down to him I'm not sure why the Cho'Gath didn't reposition if he if with that positioning, especially when they left lane. Um, Chug out, yeah, he knows. Oh, he oh, he's gonna go for the steal on the Rift Herald. 
He did steal we it. You did steal didn't it. get to pick it up because no. it's so far away. He, at minimal, he denied that. I, honest, I mean, that's a big thing. I honestly think that's worth because it's his, it's his first death. He's not going to have that long of a, a respawn timer. And he's feeding an Anar, who's oh, that's his only first kill. For I'm, sure. I'm actually thinking that's a great play by him to make sure he denies that that uh, that Rift Herald. You know, I'm not a big fan of the all chat, though. Oh, is that on? I'm going to be real. I didn't, yeah. I didn't read it. I don't have chat. Oh, it, it popped up. I, I don't know. know how chat pops up when we have chat turned off. I have that's no idea. Weird, champ. Huh? Hey, Bubba. Huh? Curdy, I miss you. Me too. Hey, Bubba. It ain't visible on stream. Oh, that's not chat. That's just items, I think. Uh oh. Okay. That's fine. Corey's doing some uh, hacking real quick to. You have to put a space between it, I think. There Imagine. You go. Corey just hacked, uh, yeah, yeah, hacked the server, hacker, bro. Man, you know. He did some hacking. He's a yeah. coder. It's all good. It's all good. Did you get in? Did you make it? Did you get in? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got through the mainframe. I'm uh, in. After once okay, I was in the nice. mainframe, it was pretty easy. You got past the firewalls? You know? Yeah. Nice, dude. I actually bumped Kenna up to 12%. Oh, just chat. We forgot. We need some more power in the we system do. for Kenna. We do. We, we got to pump need, her up, you we know. Definitely got to give her the fuel. We really need fuel for Kenna. Hey, I heard Kenna tell me. Kenna just called me. She said, if you guys buy Steamo merch and send me a screenshot, that will also empower her I heard her it's for this 20%. Game. 20% per, for every merch bought today. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Power Kenna. That's pretty crazy. Let's see them screenshots coming. Honestly, post them on Twitter and add us. Yes, honestly, honestly. That's a way better idea. I don't know why you just want me to send it to me. That's Yeah, weird. no, that's weird. Post that don't DM on, this, man. Post that on social. Yeah. Post it on Twitter. You're tag and me. And tag us. You're tag Simo Esports. You're, well, Alberto and will send you a, a, funny, a, funny, you. a funny comment. For, of, of course, of course. Chat, if you like Alberto's tweets, please let us know. It's borderline between firing him and promoting him, and I just I just can't make the decision. So um, if you like them, let me know. I mean, if we don't sell merch, we'll probably just fire him because we can't afford them. True, true, true. <laughs> Those tweets are uh, pretty fire. <laughs> We've seen a lot of the fights come down. Everybody's kind of backed. Got some got some items. Got their health back. Um, we're just kind of seeing a little bit of a stall here mid lane. Um, Cloud Dragon is up. So we're going to see the Hecarim kind of position for that. I'm not sure if he's going to solo it. Um, with this late in game and with how much, how many people we see mid lane, I doubt he does. Caleb is going to go and uh, vision plant the Dragon Pit. He will see the Leona and the Hecarim down there. Um, Zillion will time bomb the Jarvan. We're going to see a little bit of a fight here on the Leona. Yeah, I don't know if that's and one they want. It's a big TP from Choke. Oh, Flash they're going right for the... We get the dragon. the dragon. That is that pretty is big. A, that is oh disgusting. Oh, my God. Absolute worst. And we get a Holy. pick. Holy. Bro, what is this man doing? He said, you know what? I'll handle it myself. I used yeah. to play this. And just went straight for pick. Literally. Ran straight in there. What we got is the this? We got the dragon, and we got two picks what there. What is this? What is this? What am I watching? Hey, I told hey. you. You Someone must have bought merch, risk, dude. Get, Someone must have bought merch. So can it just you start? You take big risk, you get big reward, chat. That's all I'm saying. Shogath equals two smites XD. What the heck are we watching? Dude, I don't even know. Can Bro, I, that's 15% can I believe, the, man. What the heck did I just... What did I just see? I don't know. I don't Seth know if Seth makes it out. Yeah. No. He will get a yeah. double kill there. That is unlucky. Zillion's ult kind of cracked. A little God, bit. God, that Triss is atrocious. Trist up 20 farm, so... I mean, but her... Her, her, her micro's great. Her macro, yeah, not so yeah, great. Yeah, no yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe. Hey, all I'm saying is, I might have to give Zach to play the game, and the game's not even over yet. That was nuts. <laughs> Doing that to Harold, dying, oh, respawning, bro, farming, I and know. just diving straight down straight, to Dragon and dude, taking Dragon back again. Back to back, man. Bro, I, if I was the other team's jungler, I would be getting toasted in the chat. Like, you, how do you lose, how do you lose a, a, an objective to somebody without smite? Like yeah. that's just you're like yeah. you're not even it was like Jarvin versus him like you're smite warring like that like that's understandable like you just lost smite but like bro Cho'Gath what like what are you losing to that's tough look at my dad saying fire up Simo hey yes sir light it up get some energy in here man Nar is super annoying <laughs> Cho'Gath old is one k okay, true damage I mean yeah but like come on there's four of you there and he just runs in like that he's a big dinosaur how are you gonna lose to a dinosaur they're extinct 
<laughs> They're extinct. Dinosaurs are extinct. They don't how even you like the cold, dude. Yeah, come on. They don't even have feathers. Well, technically, yeah, a lot I of mean, people think dinosaurs used to have feathers. Yeah, there's a whole like thing about evolution about the birds and stuff, and we won't get into that. Raleigh but Woe. Raleigh Woe. <laughs> <laughs> We do see Mirio come in. It's a good pick. For the gank, but we will see the Nar is go down. able Nar will to jump out of his yeah. out of his rock wall, and he just kites away. I'm pretty literally sure. just bounced over the wall. Yep, that's, that's so unfortunate. So Nar, tough. that's what I'm telling you. Nar is super annoying. Super man. annoying. Loki closer to, the, to birds than reptiles. Yeah, see, that's what's wrong. Yeah. 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 We dinosaur experts at Team Esports. You wanna you wanna go ahead and say the uh, the word for that? The uh, dinosaur expert. There's a word for it? <laughs> what is it? Paleontologist. Oh! Yeah. Bro, have y'all heard that song about dinosaurs? Which one? Bro, I'm going to pull it up after this game. It's so funny. There's this guy. He makes, like, trap songs for kids. Uh, oh, no. But they're, like, they, like, <laughs> rap about, like, like childhood, like, child friends. Oh. Things, like, dinosaurs you and stuff. You do see Kenna fall there. They are diving her. I'm a little distracted. Eliona Sorry, is kind of... Chenna will take, an a we'll take a but kill. But Tristana, I don't think Tristana oh, can really do much oh, here. Oh, he misses the bind. Tristana's Def under tower, though. Tristana is under tower. Oh, she oh, is dead. Frags, no, that Tristana is frags, gone. Let's go, That Tristana Chandler. is Big out of here. Chandler, Chandler that, that was Way to clean nice. that up. Very nice. Very nice. Good patience there. Just wait for that Tristana the, to make a mistake. Chandler on the Morgana. Who would have thunk? Yeah, I don't know why Tristana walked back through there. I, I would have um, just walked up into the jungle and called it I would have done the same thing, personally. Yeah. But, you know. And also, like, she wasn't even, like... Wasn't kiting Chandler, wasn't targeting Chandler, like what Man, are we... Man, this Nar is so annoying. <laughs> that is uber annoying. Yeah. This Nar... Nar is a very, very... I mean, yeah, Nar, not only does he get the, the size to compete with Cho'Gath, but then he gets the, the movement to get away from him even faster than anybody else, so... You got this Red Hawks. Corey's mom is bullying me into saying something more often. Understandable. I'm mom, dead. great job, great hey, job. I, 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 that's what I'm, I'm about to text my girlfriend and be like, hey, why aren't you in chat right now? Crazy. I'm literally, I'm literally but dinos are her. great. Facts. Um, to chat, please. I texted her, so we'll see, see if she pops in. I'm happy you said please. I did, yeah. yeah I, 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 I didn't want to I didn't want to angry Katie. Yeah, I'm not going to bark you know? at her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Come to chat and we're done. Yeah, that's a bad idea. <laughs> that's not a good look. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, goodness. Chat, it is it's, it's toasty in this it room. It is very toasty. It's, kinda, it's, it's kinda more kinda people toasty. back here than usual. I um, can, yeah, dude, it's radiating W in here. Yeah. That's what it's radiating. Oh. We're down a little bit, but we're coming back, you know? We're in this. The Leona, that was the Leona. No, the Leona did Leona. go. Leona yeah, Leona, Leona did, did go back in. Fully yeah, in yeah. the tower. Unluckily, Zillion took that second tower shot. It had it hit Leona. That was an easy tower frag. Yes, sir. Man, that's what I'm saying is just stuff like that. Like, Leona, four health. Quite literally, four health. Yeah. Cannot close it out. It. Her team's there and able to peel for her. Nara is from the dino era, too. Do we have a dinosaur fight up top lane? That's kind of pog, honestly. I'm a big fan so of that. For the merchandise, how many esports logos will you have? Um, so it'll be the same logo, but we we'll probably have, have a different design. Yeah, we'll have more it. designs coming out real soon. Uh, excuse, sorry, I'll get my elbow out of your shot. Uh, we don't have uh, our own logo. We just use the, the university's logo. Um, but we will have more designs and like some of our catchphrases from the chirp and that kind of stuff. Um, we'll be putting on to new designs very, very soon, like I said. But uh, we didn't want to wait for a lot of t-shirt designs. We wanted to get those jerseys and the, what we had out first and then... Primarily uh, for the competitive teams, so sure. that way they can yeah, get their the jerseys season. and yeah. then they can wear it for the rest of the season. And, exactly. You know, but have it for the upcoming uh, we'll one definitely as well. be putting out more, more, more shirt designs and more merch out as time goes on. Oh, the on. Nar's going in. That's a huge ult by the Nar. Actually, he stuns three of them. That's a big ult. This is a that big was team. that was. I'm scared. That I'm scared too. I am scared. Caleb's gonna try and go for the Olympics. He's Not gonna get the finish. That Nar is gonna absolutely frag. Yeah. Big kill participation there. They're going to restart Dragon, but they're, they're going to go uncontested. Uh, Kenna will make it out. She will go for the Dragon no, Steel. I, I think Unfortunately, will not make it. Uh, we are going to see the Narc kind of chase her. He's going to back off. They're going to go re reset. They're going to push straight towards mid tower. Uh, with uh, Tier 1 towers already be down in all three lanes, this is the next objective, obviously, for them to, to logically go towards. Uh, Kenna is going to do what she can to kind of respond, kind of poke. Um, just kind of waiting her team out to respond. So they will take Tier 2 tower. You will see that Hecarim position uh, up into, let's see, what time is it? That is still Herald. We are not quite at Baron yet. Um, so he's going to position up there, likely just reset. Um, this is a tough one. Yeah. Their team comp is actually pretty pretty solid. For sure. Lie. No, the 
The Zillion being able to basically stop and save everybody. Yeah. Uh, the Tristana, the Nar, and the Hecarim all having huge disengagements. That's nuts. So definitely a big, like, jump in, jump out kind of team comp. Um, obviously annoying to play against. Kenna's kind of camping out, trying to figure out what she wants to do. Um, we're going to see a three-man stack up on top lane, trying to keep them from double shoving um, onto that tier two I tower. I think she might be uh, trying to power up right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I think she's calling me right now. Hold on. Hello? Hey, like, aren't you in game right now? Yeah, yeah, I see you camping out in, like, the mid lane. Okay, so you, you need how many more? You want to... I'm sorry. You want to... You want to turn on that much power? Can it like? Can, do you think the team can handle it? Can can esports handle? Can is a better I question. don't know if the stream can handle that. I'll I'll ask, but uh, oof. all right. Hey, I give you full permission to go with that much power. All right. Yeah, all right. All right. Let me know. Uh, apparently, the merch says it doesn't ship to Missouri. There's n no sh <laughs> no shot. Uh, Kenna said she is willing and ready to turn on. 40% of her power for this game. We we haven't reached 25. I, she said, you know We're what? Just straight We're to down oh. bad. We need to get into this game. 40%. Did she easy, get the easy. approval? She, I, I told her, do what you need to do. We will ask the chat to handle to prepare themselves to handle that amount. Chat, can you, is that okay? Chat, if you guys are okay with 40%, let me know. Uh, if you guys are ready and, and, and capable of watching this sheer power in front of your eyes, you may need to wear sunglasses. The sheer amount of power Ken is about to drag out into this game is definitely going to be needed. Oh, she will get stunned down there. Cho'Gath's going to go for a big fight. We're going to ignore the, the Rift Herald. He's going to get bumped out of his fight, thrown by the Gnar. He will take down the Rift Herald before the tower goes down, but he will go down himself for a triple kill on Tristana. Ace. Ooh, that is a Tristana ace. Um, hey, I got an but Jarvan's back up. 40% chat. Unleash the beast, forty percent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We need it. I think that's confirmation. We need it now. I think that's I agree. full confirmation. I think he, he speaks for the chat. He is the, the man of the people. He's a mod after all, so. He is a mod. He's a man of power. They're, they're, true. If there's somebody to trust. It's a mod. It is. Hundred percent. All right, chat. We need we need spam. Somebody ping Alberto. We need, we need some, some copy. We pasta need copy right pasta we need spam copy pasta. right now to charge up Sima Esports. Zach. I need you to I need you to call in the big guns. I we need Alberto in the chat right now. We need Alberto in the chat for the spam. I'm trying, but where's we my need merch? We delicious <laughs> copy pastas to power up the chat. I feel like there's a possibility Simo brings it back. These guys are randomly int, so I think it could be okay. Um, I definitely could too, but my biggest issue, not biggest issue, my biggest concern would be them grouping and trying to end, which because if... No way. Oh. Okay, so chat, it does say the jerseys don't deliver to Missouri. Which is crazy because they think, definitely sent us stuff already. I think that's <laughs> beat. Uh, I will DM them right now. I'm sure they can sort that out. That seems kind of... Maybe just because like the website's not like... Like... Maybe they're not ready to produce it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm sure they will deliver to us. They wouldn't have offered to work for Missouri school had they not delivered to Missouri. Yeah. Uh, that's easy peasy. That's uh, we'll a... Jack that. says these guys we'll randomly in, so there's a possibility for Simo to bring it back. Hey, I mean, yeah. Definitely. Simo, hey, all you got to do is capitalize on where your opponents are lacking. That's easy peasy mode. Honestly, I think we just want the game to go uh, late game here, so our Cho'Gath can get a little bit bigger. Give us a big Cho'Gath, boys. <laughs> I feel like it's a, it's a possibility to see him bringing it back. These guys get in. That's a good spam. <laughs> there is a possibility. Easy peasy. We do, we do like to see someone give him someone else oh, yeah, credit. We do we, love we, the credit love for Kong Pasta. We love that. We just like Swords and Spirits. Can, can I get that no, copy pasta reason. cited in an APA format, please? Uh. <laughs> We're going to see Miriam get caught out. We will see Kenna take... Oh, knocked it down. She will not get the kill. Of course, that pesky zillion will reheal the entirety of Leona. Oh, that is so unlucky. Dianite's going to get bursted down. His Chogath yeah, will not die. Nar's going sickle mode. 
Yeah, Nars gonna Meganar. kinda stun. Ooh, he Seth got will stunned. get a turn pick. That's a pretty big stun. Meganar will ult. He will catch Seth out. Seth will get stunned, rooted. He will use his hourglasses to save himself. He will get dove on. He will Tristana not succeed does there. Get a big kill on that one though. Sheesh. Two Simo down, three defending. Looks like uh, Two Tired might get a couple of towers here. Tristana definitely just burns through that, no issues. Yeah. Um, which this is the Tristana. This is the speedy Tristana well, we did yeah. last game. Garvin's gonna go for the Tristana pick. He will get the Tristana pick there. That's pretty big. I think that went to Chandler. I it did. Say. It did go to Chandler. Yeah, Chandler will Chandler's take that at four kill. kills now. Chandler is kind of ADC actually the only one positive yeah. on our team right yeah. now. Let's go, Chandler. Chandler cracked. I mean, I, I hate to say, like, uh, it's not really kill stealing. Like, we need her to die regardless. Um, and I honestly think Morgana can scale just enough to help out with this team fight rather than just be a nice stun and in, in, uh, in true support, you know. Kyogas going out of their base to avoid this team death. I don't know if that's going to be a play for them. Uh... He will, yeah, Nar will jump over that wall to, to stun him. Uh, Hecarim and Nar are just going to kind of bully that Cho'Gath. He is super slow right now. It looks like he will turn on the Hecarim, though, with the, with the Jarman. He's not quite getting in on that fight. He's going to try and chase down this Nar to keep Seth alive. Seth will not stay alive. Nar will bounce over his head. Nar will turn around and refrag well, him. Yeah. He will frag him there. Zillion will keep him alive, give him man. a little bit of shield. That Nar passive on his W, Holy, man, is just yeah. disgusting. Yeah. No. And, oh, and he, he had the zillion ult. <laughs> and he times it right to not die to the tower. That zillion. That was a big push. NAR play. That NAR went sicko mode right here. Hey, we do have KD in the chat hey, now. Hey, KT, what's up? NAR smurfing? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I know the NAR was, I want to say their top laner was, was like plat or gold four. So they were like pretty high yeah. um, anyway. So, I mean, I, I definitely think they're... Uh, just playing a really good NAR game into this comp for sure. For sure. How many plays have we seen that NAR jump over somebody no. and then just completely avoid the collapse? Yeah. It's like nuts. Literally, that happens and then, oh, you guys, uh, you? We got it. I can, I, I can definitely. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, uh, that NAR definitely changed a lot of this game, I feel like. Oh, a lot of those no, yeah. uh, team fights did not go the way Simo wanted. Most just of the because ganks of the that they went for early yeah. game, the Nara's just like, nope. what if I jump on your head? And then he yeah. did. And then, and then he just kites yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. it's just, yeah, it's not much you could do against the Nara. Nara's pretty annoying. Actually, I recently bought him. I'm going to try to pick him up, but I haven't been playing him. When I, I say Nara's perfect, I just mean he's doing, oh, no, no doubt. He's playing a really good game. I mean, he's up, he's up 40, 40 CS, up six kills. Um... And he has eight assists, so he's obviously helping out in team fights. Drew has a good point. Man knows the yeah, limits. Yeah, one of the a, a unique feature of Nar is that um, you don't get to turn on your ability or your ultimate. Uh, you have a rage bar, and yeah. when it fills to the tippy top, it just activates. And so if like you're attacking and you attack too much, it'll activate. So if you didn't want it to activate, you have to intentionally like not continue hitting or not continue throwing abilities. So it's definitely like a, a very tight line you walk in order to keep that ultimate from from turning on and going into big NAR mode. For sure, and that's something uh, anyone that's trying to pick up NAR, you just gotta get used to. Oh yeah. But Stridebreaker is actually really, really good on Bernar. Not gonna lie. On NAR? Yeah. Bernar. Bar. NAR. Bar. NAR. Barry? They're going for me. They are going for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we have vision on looking at here, so. looking at our jungle. Do you see how vision dominating they are? Oh, I know. One, I two, know. three, four, five. They have five wards and just half of our jungle. We haven't been able to push out. Oh of no! Our base I mean, we've been in so our like, base the last yeah, yeah. almost ten minutes, so I, I get it. Um, it's definitely just really tough here. I play Nar burst mage, so I get it. I don't Luden's even want to know what kind of off meta that is. That sounds wild. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine how that would even like work in my head. This Nar's got Dead Man's play, so he's just building a nasty chase. Oh, for sure. Let alone I mean, the Stride Baker, which gives you a slight like forward jump. A little dash. Yeah. Um, a little dashy dash. But the thing is, that Nar's not dying anytime soon. Oh no, shot. He is tanky, tanky. Yeah. Especially when he goes to Mega Nar, is. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's the game. That's not us. That's not the PC this time. Not us. <laughs> ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Ah ha. What's going on? Ah ha ha. Um. Do they pause? No. That's us? Oh.
Okay. All right. Well, I guess let's go ahead and kick it over to. So they said uh, our, our our analyst who analyst. Anal analyzes the client said the game is actually <laughs> over. Uh, basically, I guess in three minutes we lose, and the client just stops working at that point instead of letting out the rest of the video. Uh oh, game is broken. Is correct. Uh, so we will have to s go to our analyst. We will walk you through what the analysts are saying. They will walk you through what's going on after this game. Is to this uh, our our version of the analyst desk? Yeah, the CMO Esports analyst desk presented by yeah. the Valorant uh, tournament clash thing. So, something like uh, that. Something something, something, something like Red Bull. Anyway, I mean, anyway, so CMO ended up losing that game in around about twenty eight minutes. Um, couldn't survive the early game. We mentioned early on in draft that they needed to survive the early game and for a few moments there um it was it was looking really good especially very very early mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um 4 30 for first blood first blood bot lane right even though the setup was like really good from uh from uh Devonport Devonport yeah um this dive should have never went as poorly as it did for that import. They all no. lived with essentially 20 HP yep. whenever Simo went into this at 20 HP. Um, so a brief synopsis of what happened was it was a four-man dive Hecarim and Zillion coming roaming to the bot side to get Morgana and Kaiza. They only trade one out, but they being in this fight. Um, everybody just flashes in, immediately tries to hop on the Kenna, but they're not able to set up afterward right and mm -hmm. this was sort of a misplay on multiple fronts not able to hit any stuns at all but hackerim's early power is just able to run over them as is right so the next fight i'm gonna look over is it 12 20 whenever a dragon steal comes through um from zach so that, that was something that was really big and something that kept me hopeful uh, in the early part of the game yeah. is uh, Zach with the, the Cho'Gath. Uh, like, like they said earlier in the actual stream, uh, it, does a, it does around 1,000 true damage. Uh, so that's his ultimate. He can stack off of those objectives. So anytime he comes in for a steal, uh, it's, it's keeping it out of the hands of Davenport. And that was something that I was really hoping they could uh, capitalize on is uh, the, their objective control. Right. And even though... The object the objective control is literally just Cho'Gath stealing like dragons and rift heralds and those sort of things, right? Like that that is a means because that is a means to let Cho'Gath get to the late game much faster, right? You get those dragon stats, you go those get those epic monster stacks roaming up, right? And Simo actually wins the fight afterward mm -hmm. until they get a little too overzealous, staying staying around the Zillion, who decided to go um damage instead of the spore itemization yep. like in the previous game so it was originally just a two for two trade with dragon stolen which would have been fine for Simo. Simo wins that fight right but in the fight after for like a minute afterward the fight continues and zillion ends up trading two kills back and that was the real turning point in the game where it felt like the lead for davenport just got out of control yep so I, uh, for for all of these of you at home, uh, looking looking back at the game, uh, when we when we were watching those casters, you know, at the top, there's there's the gold, like one side's gold and the others. Over time, it it, it just kept growing and growing on the side of Davenport, and Simos looked like it was like crawling. And once it got to around mid game, not only was Davenport up in kills, but because of that, they uh they actually had CS leads, major CS leads in every single lane. So like the gold lead was a lot bigger. Not only from the kills, but just from the control they had in the lanes. So even though Simo was taking those objectives, it didn't really matter just because of the items advantage. And I just now realized that they can't see your screen. So as like I'm commentating these <laughs> plays, it's just like not working because they, they have to visualize like a giant robotic dinosaur yep, yep. popping in and just slamming into people and doing all these other things. It, it, I mean, th that's what NAR did. Um, so Despite all of what happened, there are some bright things to look forward in this new roster that they brought out here today. Um, Zach playing really well in his first game as top laner, considering he had counter pick in the first game. He did not have counter pick in this last game, had to pick Cho'Gath and Dinar. Um, was able to get 
a Rift Herald Seal and Dragon Seal, those there's some positives to take out of this loss, despite how how badly Simo did lose this game. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Uh same thing bot side with Chandler, you know. Uh like that that first early double kill uh in the bot lane, you know, the Tristana trying to jump in, trying to assassinate Kenna and then get out again. Uh but Chandler held onto the Q uh with the Morgana, uh did his job, waited, oh, yeah. was very patient, got the kill, kept Kenna alive. I mean that's just that's the kind of thing you want to see when you see someone new coming into a roster. So yeah. very excited to see where things go with this. Yeah, there was multiple times oh, yeah. where it felt like Chandler played the situation correctly, and even though he didn't play every situation correctly, there's no way you can. Um, there's a lot. There's again a lot of positives, and let's talk about Caleb going going to the jungle for this for this yep. team in this game, right? He's the aggressor in the top side. He's the main carry for his top side, but played a more supportive role this time around. Yep. With Dr. Mundo in game one and Jarvan game two. So with the Mundo, obviously he's uh he's a tank. He's gonna try to do damage with those cleavers. However, he never got to the late game to build those health items for his cleavers to do a bunch of damage. So it kind of felt bad. And then after that, you know, the other team they had control of the map. He did not get to go farm and do anything. So he was kind of useless game one. And it felt really bad. Game two, a little bit different. He played the Jarvan, played the tank, and he so desperately tried to play that support, just trying to lock down the champions. However, this is something we brought we brought up uh, in in the while the game was going on. Narhot, he can hop out. Hecarim ult, he can ult out. Zillion ult, you know, Zillion may die, but he's got his yeah. ulti. He just waits out the cataclysm so yeah. the walls fall, and he can just leave afterwards. Tristana can hop out. Leona can eat to someone outside of the cataclysm. Jarvan just felt really bad because every time he executed his Jarvan perfectly, it just never worked out. It yeah. never led to a kill, and it felt really bad. So I don't think. I don't think Caleb in the jungle was necessarily bad. It just, in these situations with the circumstances given, it just wasn't enough. Yeah, and especially with Zillion just being able, if there is no flash, there is no hop, right? Zillion could just press R and yep. revive them. So it did feel really bad to play Jarn in this game. I want to round out by talking about um, Seth and Gunna, the two mainstays on this roster. Um, Seth getting his Cassiopeia trying to play it as well as possible. And the Zillion is probably not a matchup that he's too familiar with just because of how often, like how often do you play against Zillion mid? Yeah, like, it's like not, not, it's not a super common pick. It really isn't super common. And I think like all things considering, everybody as a team, like you live and you die by the rest of your team, right? So it's not necessarily like one person to blame or anything. Just like, this could just be a skill matchup this time around. And, and it's okay to have these sort of games, especially with the new roster that they're working on right now, right? Like this is... By all means, the development roster. We may see some other changes as they go through the rest of the season. Uh, we'll see. Um, let's do last point on Kenna right fast. Um, can I get any her Kaiza in game two? Didn't didn't really feel like she did anything. Got Tristana in game one. Didn't get her mythic item until they were in the base. It just, it just felt just felt really bad. Yeah, it did. Here's the thing though, right? In the future, right? If if I were Simo and okay. and we were going to play Davenport again, okay. Here's what I do, right? Ban Hecarim. And watch for another jungle super carry. Because the way Davenport seems to like to play is to just support one main carry and then you know leave the other side lanes or whatever. Just, just do whatever. Yeah, no, as long as the side lanes aren't suffering, then that main carry, the Hecarim in this case, can do whatever he wants. So uh how do you how do you combat that? A, ban out a Hecarim. If you're if you're not gonna ban out a Hecarim, at least make sure that you know you have countermeasures to that. Uh like the Morgana, I like the Morgana pick here. You know, you can you can shield the fear, you can do whatever. Uh, you can root him when he's trying to go in. But after you counter that, make sure that the side lanes, you know, against the Gnar or like the bot lane, make sure that you're focusing more on that. That way you can beat them out in either the split push or they just have to draw so much more attention towards that. So yeah. okay. So now that we have all those points, um, I think it's our time to leave here. It's been it's been fun. This it has. Reese, it's yep. been Really good time. It's glad to be back. A lot of people didn't even know I was a student anymore. But <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Hopefully this analyst desk gets brought back. I had a lot of fun doing this. And yep. uh hopefully next time I can actually like take some decent notes and we have a decent game. But anyway, we're gonna roll back over to Corey and Rally to finish up today's See you series. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that was a game. That was a time. Was, uh, thank you, Rich indeed. and Reese, for coming out. We will definitely have you guys back. I, I hope like, you guys enjoy. I like the analyst move, Yeah, man. I hope I you like guys it. enjoy the analyst, uh, getting that in-depth side and then getting this 
we're the goofball, the hype side. A little bit, uh, yeah. You know, just, little just a little, you got to have you know? a, little, a little yin and yang, you know, <laughs> your, little, your little brain dead, your little five head, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, chat, uh, I know we mentioned before we left that you were we were having issues not shipping to Missouri. I just bought my jersey. No uh, issues. I used my house address, and it went through. And so um, just, like, double check your shipping, double check your payment method. If you have issues... Uh, let me know. I will reach out. I already went ahead and reached out to my um, salesperson, but I bought my jersey already. Um, I can show you my confirmation if you really want it. Uh, but I went ahead and bought my jersey, and yeah, there's my confirmation. Peyton is literally trolling. I don't want to. I don't want to dox myself. So uh, there it you go. It was like Peyton is the only person having that issue. Oh yikes! <laughs> uh, so my jersey went through, and I'm getting a lot of emails that a lot of your guys' stuff is going through. So it looks like we're good um, on at least a couple of these orders, and so. Um, thank you so much for already purchasing some of these jerseys, some of these masks, some of these t-shirts, all that good stuff. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. Definitely, definitely, definitely keep an eye out. Hit me up for the, for the passcode. If you are on a competitive team, buy a mask, buy a t-shirt, post those merch on social media or send it to me if you don't want to post it on social media. Um, yeah, dude. Um, yeah, there you go, man. That big announcement on the jerseys. Um, we're going to have Curtis or Zach design us up another t-shirt design. Get that out on the website very, very soon. Where are the turtles? I don't know what, 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 um, do you not know what the turtles are? I guess not. You're throwing, man. Bro, what do you mean? You're throwing. Ah, uh, you guys are toxic. Push up or ban? All right, all right. Corey and I will hit some push ups. I mean, they're only banning you. That's whoa, that's fine. Whoa, 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 bud. We'll wrap will, it up. I will uh. ban you if you don't do them with me. How about that? So, um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you guys for showing support to Reese and Rich for the CMO team. Um, unlucky, honestly, thank you for them for coming out. Honestly, yeah. Unlu well. Unlucky L for us, but we know we pick up, we move on, and we get better. Um, all right, man. Uh, appreciate it. Dawson Gage, appreciate it, appreciate it. Good games, guys. Yeah, Corey and I will hit some push-ups for you guys before yeah. we go. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for showing out. We will have a watch party tomorrow for Overwatch. Um, they will be hosting on the GG League. So I will make a call in the Discord channel. We'll mob that out. We'll blast their chat. We're going to we're gonna have a hoop and holler in time. Um, we don't have any streams this weekend. And then we'll be back with a double stream on Monday for Rocket League and Valorant. And then we'll have a nutty schedule next week. So uh, definitely check out the website, exclamation point merch. I will post that on our social medias. I will post all that jazz everywhere you can find it. Overwatch is going to win. Pog champ, they better. Uh, Corey, I'm let's hit these push-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to hit some push-ups for you guys. There you go, chat. Have a good night. We'll see you later.